All right, folks. Um, I got up from a nap and had me some some sushi. My son got doing all right. Uh, the rest of the world isn't Russia and uh, what is it, Crimea? They're uh, going at it, and Turkey's involved with the drones. Uh, so, all in all, let me wrap up what's going on in the simulation and the matrix here. Uh, there's an X flare. There's continuous. There's continual flare, flaring going on on the sun right now, on Sola or or Ra is speaking to us um we are getting inundated with radiation some of us process it really well some of us don't i can process solar radiation and frequencies some people are what we call sensitives and Feel that they're targeted individuals because of all this frequency soup we live in uh, hurt, hurts them, hurts them, you know, damage their ears, their hearing, or uh, causes vertigo, all sorts of things, Just physical health problems, and everything. I, on the other hand, could probably stick my head in the microwave and it would do anything to it this fucking not noggin here but anyway anyway i want you to i want you guys to know what's going on on capitol hill right now in our great country um people are waking up there's a great awakening happening it's been happening um Frigga, send me something. Um, even the even the staunch Democrats, the feminine speaking males that are on the left are waking up. Those of us that have studied metaphysics and been in the occult and the magical arts all pretty much all of us are are waking up to this uh dual or triple timeline we are, we're straddling you know now whether this is part of the simulation or not i'll give it to you here that in 2012 cern jumped us out of the way of an asteroid on one timeline whether that be in the future to another part of the solar system or to another part of the galaxy or arm or wherever we're at, tube of stars we're traveling through. On another time on the asteroid hit us and right at that moment, at that point, or right before it or after the, the extra terrestrials, the, the extra dimensionals, the dimensionals, took our consciousness and and put it in a simulation. Put it in matrix reality perception. On another timeline, on all, all, all the other other timelines, this, this did not happen. Or a similar form of it happened. Another one where the asteroid missed us, one, you know, okay, so but these two main timelines of what we're we're straddling right now, or, or at least at least I am, and some other people are. So I have found that um, that like what I call jumping into simulation. I'm not jumping into the simulation. I'm jumping in and out of different timelines. When I feel that, like, well, only thing I can tell you guys what it feels like is like the quickening would be you ever watch Highlander and or, or get a caffeine rush or something you feel like quickening that sugar rush or whatever um 
But I just want to tell you guys, I'm going to do a live stream either tonight or tomorrow with or a video is with the frequencies to see what I what I I can't accomplish or not accomplish or fuck up not fuck up. You know, I'm really debating on doing it. It's really it is really uh for for me to find out for myself these things and to and to hear them or, or experience them myself. I have found I have found a, a modulation that will get you fucking high off your ass by listening to it. The first plugins that I did. So I imagine what I'm gonna find if I given given years with this setup that I have, or weeks, months, however long we've got, maybe hours. So I just want to sh I just want to sh show you politically since this is not your father's country channel and um, you know I'm probably going to stop posting deep state stranger stranger dropped off the map stranger dropped out of uh, the game the other, last week I don't know if it was me or if it was, he just couldn't stand it anymore. But, um, I'm going to stop posting the deep state so everybody will take a, a deep breath and really look at what's going on in their personal circle and stop digging through the phone for outside information you know and it's always me is looking outside looking in looking the, there you know so I want to I want to show you guys this this just happened on, on the Capitol Hill before YouTube takes it down this might be one of the speeches you take down this is um, I don't know who this man is I, I do believe by listening to it, it, it is one of the leftist, one of the democratic uh, councils that is, is, is in session right now. But the railing he gives to his constituents is going to wake you up and, and prove that uh, and then the, the, if you guys don't know about the, the Alec Baldwin connections between um, Hutchins, Hutchins, the lady got shot, and the Red October, and then her husband and the Clintons and all that, you guys need to um, look into that. Her birthday and birthplace is important, just like the Gematria said that I ran on her. I'll do a live stream and run her Gematria. We'll look at all that, you know. But, you know, it really all doesn't make any difference because it, it just, one thing after another keeps coming down the, the chain. I can go to sleep and wake up and it's something else, you know. So it re, re, there's really no point because I don't get out to millions. If I got out to millions of people, I would, I would be putting it out there, you know what I mean? Because I would I'd be changing a lot more things. But just for our little circle here, you know, you guys can extra extrapolate on what I'm doing and everything by washing my shorts and stuff. And if you if you can't, you know how to contact me and ask me questions. So check this out, guys. <laughs> this is really hilarious. If you're a patriot and you and you despise the wokeness and the the censorship and the, all these people, all these things these people these leftist fuckers stand for, you know what I mean? Just just the the unwitting, uneducated, unbelievable fucking shit. These people fucking from the inner from 
most of them are from big cities, you know, for the West Coast or East Coast. You ain't going to find a farm boy that's fucking uh, liberal and woke unless he's been abused by his free deaky uncle or something, you know, whatever. And who I've had friends that were abused by their aunts and shit. Weird, weird, weird. They make weird people, man, these days, dude. Really weird. Check this out. My phone's going really slow today because of the solar radiation, I imagine. it's She's heating up on me pretty good right now. So this is 8 minutes, 27 seconds. So it'll be around a 20-minute video here. I'll cut her short. I won't comment after this. But here you go. This proves that the left is, is swinging around and waking up to smelling their own shit, let's say. Dream new low today we already have an approval rating of 21 percent it's going to get a whole lot worse because of the actions of the leadership of this congress less than less than an hour before this hearing started the bill text was dropped 1700 pages i asked my team let's print it off so i can make sure that this whole committee knows what's in it and I'll read all 1,700 pages here. Unfortunately, in 45 minutes, we couldn't print it. And you're having a hearing on a piece of legislation that we couldn't even print off in enough time. This is all part of the sham. It's a complete sham. Back in September, there was a fake artificial timeline that was set by the leadership of the Democrat Party that said we will pass the infrastructure bill by September 27. Still haven't been a vote on that infrastructure bill because she's linked it to what we have right here. Folks, to show fake momentum, to show fake momentum, leadership of the Democrat Party on a Thursday afternoon in September said let's do the markup for the reconciliation bill Saturday afternoon over a month ago with less than 10% of the bill scored. Less than 10% of the entire bill was scored by the Congressional Budget Office. But she wanted it so she could send out a dear colleague letter to all of her Democrat members to show fake momentum and to create new headlines showing Good faith to the progressives. The divisions within this party, we all see it. The American people see it. And she tried to make the progressives think that she was moving forward, much like this hearing today. It's nothing but a bunch of fake headlines. She went out there on C-SPAN to talk about this bill that none of you have read. None of you have read just to create new fake headlines and false momentum to allow the media to think that they were doing something. But in fact, there's no agreement. If there's agreement, we'll have a vote today. My prediction is there will not be a vote today, probably not even a vote in this committee to pass this 1,700-page bill because you're still going to have to rewrite it because you have some senators on the other side of the building that will say, thumbs down and you won't be able to pass it because you'll have moderates of your party saying, no, I don't like it. And then you'll have progressives saying, no, it doesn't go far enough. Let me tell you, we are facing multiple crises in this nation as a, result, as a re direct result of your policies. The direct result of this administration's policies, whether it's the border crisis, whether it's the inflation crisis, or whether it's the energy crisis. 
And you know what? What you're doing with this, I don't know what's in your 1700 page bill, but I'll talk about the 2400 page bill that we marked up in the budget committee a month ago. That bill makes every one of those crises even worse for working class families. And you should be ashamed of yourself. I have people in my congressional district that is doing everything they can to put food on their table, clothes on their backs and gasoline in their car. In our state, because of executive orders that Joe Biden did in the first week in office has resulted in the gas prices to go up 80% since January 20th in the state of Missouri. And in this bill, you have policies and regulations that will only make gas prices go up even higher. You have taxes on natural gas when people's worried about how they're going to heat their homes this winter, and you're trying to make it more expensive on them. And you know what? When you talk about the border crisis, we've had more than 1.4 million illegals cross the southern border since January 20th. January 20th, as the direct result of President Biden's executive orders to eliminate construction of the border wall by rescinding the Remain in Mexico policy, which the Supreme Court said was wrong, and now he has to backtrack, and by reinstituting the catch and release. And they wonder why 1.4 million illegals have been crossing the southern border. And guess what? The 2,400-page bill that we marked up a month ago, which I'm sure there's a lot of the same provisions in the 1,700-page bill, only incentivized people to cross the southern border even more. It provided free college to illegal immigrants, free college to millionaires, too. That's what your bill that passed out of the Budget Committee did. And you know what? It also provided amnesty using $109 billion to 10 million illegals, making the border crisis that much more worse. And then you want to talk about the inflation crisis. Folks, before you passed the Biden bailout bill in March, it was projected by CBO that inflation would be 2.0. It's tripled. It is tripled after you pass the Biden bailout, where you spent $1.9 trillion to reward your political friends, allies, and donors. And now we're facing the largest inflation that we've seen since 1981. That is a direct result of all of my constituents, all of your constituents having higher prices to purchase food on their table, clothes on their backs, and gasoline in their cars. And guess what? You're wanting to spend according to the bill that passed out of the budget committee, $4.3 trillion of reckless spending. You talk about putting fuel on the inflation fire, that's what you're going to do. But why, why rush it through today? Other than the false headlines of momentum, maybe there's an election across the Potomac that's happening on Tuesday, and you're worried that you might need to push this through to show that you can competently govern or maybe, as Speaker Pelosi said, we'll pass an infrastructure bill by the time that Biden lands in Europe, 8 o'clock tonight. My bet is no infrastructure will pass tonight because of the disarray and the division within the Democrat Party. And so it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we were unable to read these 1,700 pages because we had 45 minutes to do. And let me tell you, <clears throat> CNN... CNN is not a media outlet that likes conservatives. Not at all. That may be shocking. Two weeks ago, they came up with a poll and they said only 25%, only 25% of Americans said that they would benefit from this legislation. 25%. CNN, that's not a Republican media outlet. The reason why you want this bill to be moving today is so the American people won't know what's in it. That's exactly why you're doing it. It's unfortunate. That's why it's a sham. That's why I'm disappointed. And that's why I'm going to make sure the American people finds out what's in this, hopefully before you all try to pass this piece of legislation. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God.
So uh, I, I said I wasn't going to comment, but let me let me clear up clarify a couple things. Um, come on, phone. I'm not probably not going to get my camera back up here before. Um, as you can see in the background, I took a snapshot of, of the dragon. Hi there. Uh, it's true. J.R. Ewing made me rich. Come on, man. Back phone. in 1980. It's just my phone is all kinds of fuckery. So. All kinds of fuckery going on with my phone. So anyway. This will be a 25 minute thing. Um, one thing came to mind when he said Biden landing in Europe and, and the Russian uh, and the border, border war they're, they're going on down there. Watch his plane get either uh, what do you call it when uh, Watch UFOs or something follow his plane or, or come into contact with his plane or watch him get get shot down. One of the two. Now, I'm not saying it'll happen. I'm just saying just watch. What, what, wait, wait. And let's, let's wait. Let's, let's, whoa, hold on here. I'm just saying <laughs> with all the crazy shit going on, that's a possibility. It just it, it went through my mind when he said that, and I I didn't look at Biden's schedule today on on uh, Punchbowl News or anything, and and know what he was doing. He, I don't know what he's doing. He's heading over. I guess one of the clones is heading over to Europe for something or other. Is it was it the one that fucking coughed in his hand and stuck his hand out to uh, shake the, the invisible person on stage the other day? Is it is it the guy that was with both hands up the Beavis and Butthead pooping, you know, was, was it that one? Which clone is it? Which clone is it, man? So I want to make this clear. We are straddling. The reason why these, these extra dimensionals, extraterrestrials, intraterrestrials, whatever, are keeping us around is for our Luche Luche. Luce and Lush, like like Leslie clarifies, yes, it's either energy, they're energy archons are energy vampires, and there's several other species and races of the extraterrestrials and, and, and extra-dimensional. Some of them aren't aware of the other ones, but we're aware of all of them because we straddle these 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 uh realities, these dimensions, these timelines. We are straddling all these timelines in in, 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 in in a convergence in a converged timeline that's like a wrapped up like a DNA plasma laser beam, right? It's coiled all together, and uh, these entities exist on all these other strands that are coming to contact with that uh, main thread. But they, they, some of they aren't aware. Of, some of them aren't aware of each other. Some of them are at war with each other. Um, some of them are um, trying to manipulate us. Some of them are just have us around for uh, the luche luche. Some of us um, were entertainment to them. Um, some of them aren't even aren't aware of us. And and we are we, we see that glimpses of them. All all these UFOs, all these UAPs, they're not the same. They're not the same technology. They all have uh, different technologies, and we are coming to realization of of several of these propulsion, anti gravity slash light ship type of of technologies. All at the same time, all, all in this timeline, and and um, we were coming real close to uh, mastering it back in 2012 when we were jumped when when this 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 time uh, uh, collapse time wave collapse happened we were jumped out of it we we avoided it 
in a bunch of timelines. There was a couple of timelines that got where we're, we're gone. We're, 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 we're just, it, it was over. And so we don't, we're not aware of those. It's because it's, it's, we're aware of the, the, the ones that, that are in continuation. You see. And when we are able to, why sometimes it seems like you, the, 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 the earth has shifted, the, the world's changed, uh, you know, especially from year to year. You know, especially two years ago, we would have never thought any of this. Now we're in some sort of new fucking normal whatever bullshit, you know. Well, I want to further jump us to somewhere else out of this bullshittery, away from the negativity to a, a more... And at the, the end of the Kali Yuga will be coming around and, and, and this will inevitably happen so maybe it's just us dealing with that inevitability and these archons trying to hold on to their chocolate dessert like a three year old it's like taking a lollipop away from a baby the baby's had enough lollipop if you give it any more lollipop it's going to have a sugar crash, a sugar rush, and a crash. And you know the type of temper tantrum that comes from a three-year-old after it's had a bunch of sugar and a pop. You know, a Coke and a candy bar. And you know what happens next. By the time they hit the, a nap, you're ready for a fucking a, a couple shots and a fucking, you pass out. And then that's not good because then the baby wakes up and you're passed out of sleep Fuck, turns the stove on, burns the house down. You know, so just a, a series of unfortunate events happens when you appease something to no end. And these archons are trying to hold on to their lollipop and their soda, their their candy bar and their soda. When you you don't, we we are only supposed to give them a little bit to uh, appease them, not to uh, over satisfy. You know, that like the like it's human nature to, uh, I don't know, masturbate and then try to do it again, you know, <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> uh, like like uh, horny little monkeys or rabbits. I would like to go live with you guys, but I think this is a better way of me uh, coming at coming at you. So. Uh, I don't know if I'm sideways here or what. You'll just have to bear with me. No, I'm not in jail. That's my bed frame. That's my bed. It looks kind of like like if I get like that. It looks like I'm sitting by the bars, you know, in, in prison cell. Help me. They got me. They got me at the Capitol and they gave me a cell phone. And I was at I was at January sixth and and I I they didn't know where I was and all of a sudden they come to my house and said I was at the, the Capitol building and now I'm in jail. <laughs> Fuck Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon.